Hi, welcome to another ZSK video. Uh, this tutorial, we're going to talk about the software settings on the T8 controller. On the T8 controller, we have the ability to set up some of the settings to where it makes it a little bit faster for us to load our designs, um, some options that we have that we can either bypass or keep on there, and it's just different preferences that we do have in the T8. So to get to the software settings, on the left-hand side, we have L7 which is software and hardware settings. And I'm just going to press on L7. And on the right hand side here, we have software settings. I'll go ahead and press the R4. And now we're able to get to our software settings. The first software settings, simple operation mode. This is something that I would not recommend selecting because it does lock us out of some of the options within the T8 controller on the main screen. If you do press this and are in simple operation mode, to get back, you do need a password. So it's very important that you understand this. In case you do need a password, you do have to contact ZSK um, or your dealer directly for that password. So again, I highly recommend not selecting it. The next one is the inquiry pantograph configuration. This pantograph configuration is the option to choose which pantograph you are going to sew in, what, what configuration you're going to sew in, whether it be caps, tubular, border frame, so on and so forth. So with it checkmarked, that means it's always going to ask me when I load a design what configuration I want. If I deselect it, that will bypass this option and it will use the last configuration that I chose. Such as if I'm doing all tubular, a lot of times I'll want to keep this off and keep it in the tubular mode. If I'm going back and forth between tubular and caps uh, throughout the day, I probably would like to keep that on as I can choose my configuration uh, while I'm loading my designs. So I'll go ahead and keep that check marked. It's just simply a, a click on the L2 button right there. The next option to change is the modification options. The modification options allow us to rotate, size, um, change some other settings in here. And with that, we have three choices. I can either hit L3 or R3, and I get to the same menu here. So there are three options here, all modification options, no modification options, and application dependent modification. What those mean is that all modification options, um, you can choose you know, whether or not you want to rotate um, size and, and different things like that. Um, It'll also ask you if you just want to rotate 180 degrees or no modification at all. The second one is no modification options. If I choose that, it will bypass the modification option menu and um, we won't modify the design at all. It'll just go in the way that we brought it in. And then application dependent modification. What that means is that if I am in the pantograph configuration of cap mode, it will say, hey, I see that you're in cap mode, so you might want to modify the design, whether turning it upside down, sizing, whatever it may be. So um, with the default, it's all modification options. If I do want to change it, all I have to do is press L2 or R2, and now you can see my option has changed, and it'll go right back to that previous folder. The next option here is all optimization options. The optimization options are um, settings that you can change, such as in a DST file, you know, you want to set the needles um, and you want to set the trimming lengths and things like that, the jump stitches and whatnot. So with all optimization options, um, I can change this to either bypass it or show certain things. So again, it's L4 or R4. And all optimization options, those are uh, optimize with user defined values, which we typically do with the DST, no optimization, and optimize with default values, which that's what we typically use with a transport code or a Z00 file. Um, always use default optimization. That is good to check mark if I do want to um, always use transport code files. Um, so that will just bypass this optimization screen and it go right into the uh, controller. The design dependent optimization, that is for that if you do bring in a DST, 
the controller is going to know, hey, you probably want to set your needles in here, so it will automatically stop for DSTs. So depending upon what you would like, you can click on the uh, option, and now it goes right back to those software settings. The next one is always ask for design number. As you know, in the T8 controller, you can input your designs into different slot numbers. And whenever you load a design, it'll ask you, okay, do you want to input a number? Would you like the next free design number? Um, or do you want the original one and overwrite it? So what we can do here is we can hit L5 or R5, and it will always ask for the design number, meaning that's something that you manually put in, or you choose one of the options in that menu, or automatically, um, do a number assignment on your design. And this will help, again, it'll bypass that screen and auto automatically put it in the next slot, uh, whatever it sees free. So again, choose whatever one you would like and you can now see a lot of these have changed. The last one is our select network connection. The network connection is the connection between your T8 and the computer that holds your designs or your server or whatever it may be. Um, with a select network connection, this will always bring up your uh, list of network connections that you may have, and then you can go between those and select the network connection. If you do have just one network connection, then I would suggest changing this as it does um, free up some time when you're loading those designs. So if I go here to L6, select network connection, I can always select it. Uh, from my menu of networks, or I can use the last network connection. If I choose this, it will bypass that um, network screen, and it will always use that last network connection, so I don't have to go through it every single time. That's very helpful when using barcoding or using your um, loading from a network. After I'm happy with all of these settings, I would hit confirm. Confirm will save these settings. If you want to go back to default, you can always hit default. But I'm going to confirm these settings. And actually, before I confirm them, if I do hit previous, it will cancel what I changed. So make sure you hit confirm once you're happy with those settings. Once I confirm, I will then go previous, go back to my main screen, and there I have changed my software settings. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.